Yes, I love technology. But not as much as you, you see. But I still love technology. This one revolves around X's moderation, or apparent lack of moderation, after Elon Musk hired this Linda Jacarino lady to be the CEO of his company. There's been some changes that some people like and some people aren't so fond of. Anyway, this article from Wired, written by Vittery Elliott. Hello, Vittery Elliott. Linda Jacarino says X needs more moderators after all. Ex-CEO Linda Jacarino told U.S. Senators she's hiring more trust and safety staffers. She didn't mention that Elon Musk fired most people policing content on the platform when he acquired it in 2022. He did. They had an overburden of staff. There's the lady there, looking at Zuckerberg. And this chap here, is this the chap who runs TikTok? Maybe. Who's this man here? Who are you? Who knows? He knows who he is, hopefully. If he doesn't, then bloody hell. <laughs> he loves lamp. <laughs> anyway, when Elon Musk took over Twitter, since rebranded as X, his favorite letter in the alphabet, is it? Okay. He went on a firing spree. <laughs> that must have been fun. Chief among those ejected were people working on trust and safety. The work of keeping bad content from hate speech to child exploitation off the platform. They were doing a terrible job at keeping porn and child exploitation off the platform. It's almost as if they were making a, an effort to keep that stuff on the platform. In front of a US Senate committee today, ex-CEO Linda Jacarino appeared to tactfully acknowledge that Musk went too far in tearing down the platform's guardrails, indicating the company was partially reversing course. She said that X had increased the number of trust and safety staff by 10% in the past 14 months and planned to hire 100 new moderators in Austin focused on child sexual exploitation. Well, they've hired back 10% more of what they were left with after they fired so many. Is that what we're saying there? Jacarino spoke to a Senate hearing called to discuss social networks failure to curb child sexual abuse alongside the CEOs of Meta, TikTok, Snap, and Discord. She also said multiple times that less than 1% of ex-users were under 18. That claim, and her announcement that after 14 months of Musk's ownership and deep cuts to trust and safety, the company was now hiring new moderators, raised the eyebrows of social platform experts and former Twitter employees. Theodore Skadas, a former member of Twitter's trust and safety team laid off by Musk in November 22, says that even after making the highest Jack Arena boasted of, X is still woefully understaffed for a major social platform. Is it though? Unless their technical systems for flagging and removing content have really improved, a hundred is not enough, says Skadas. Well, it depends if they're amplified by AI. Maybe they're doing a lot better now. And that seems unlikely because they've fired so many engineers. X did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Oh, bonfire of the mods, oh dear. He did get rid of quite a few. Good few, sir. Shortly after acquiring Twitter in October 22, Musk laid off nearly half of Twitter's employees, making deep cuts into the trust and safety teams. Researchers and civil society organizations that had built relationships with the platform's trust and safety teams in order to alert them to hateful or problematic content quickly found themselves without anyone left at the platform to contact. Oh dear. Oh no. People were talking about furries as if they didn't care about their feelings. <laughs> Who are they going to complain to now? The platform was nearly banned in Brazil in the run-up to the country's 2022 presidential runoffs, after the country's electoral court worried that Musk would allow election-related lies to spread. Ah, the lies, are they? Oh, okay. <laughs> A team of academic researchers found that hate speech spiked after Musk took the helm. And last September, ahead of a historic election year, X fired five of the remaining trust and safety workers focusing on combating mis- and disinformation. Well, you know, you no longer have a monopoly on uh, the definition of either mis- or disinformation, so I suppose you just have to get used to it. Skader says that before Musk took over, there were about 400 Twitter staff working on trust and safety, plus some 5,000 contractors who helped review content on the platform. Most of those staffers and more than 4,000 of the contractors were laid off. Even after Jacarino's claimed recent increase in trust and safety staff of more than 10%, the platform likely still has far fewer people working on keeping users safe. Safe? Safe? What kind of, what do you mean by safe? 
<laughs> it's, it's just text and video. Oh no, keep me safe from text and video. I mean, obviously I don't want uh, pornography. I don't want any exploitation or anything like that. But that stuff was going on when you had such a massive workforce. <laughs> All these thousands of contractors and all this child pornography and, and other pornography was running rife on the platform. So, um, the hell? What do you mean by safe? It's, it's unsafe now after all this stuff has been thrown off. It's ridiculous. There's no way the company has more trust and safety staff than it did before, Musk. Skater says, if there were 20 people left and they hired two people, then that's a 10% increase, but that's still nothing compared to before. She says... Oh, well, you were doing a terrible job before, so, you know, shush. Adding back a hundred moderators, as Jacarino claimed before the Senate today, would not be nearly enough to properly police content related to teenage users and child exploitation-related content, even if they were solely focused on child sexual abuse, Gator said. Matt Mottel, who formerly worked at Meta and is now a research and policy fellow at the Integrity Institute, a think tank focused on trust and safety, agrees. He's also skeptical of Jacarino's claim that less than 1% of ex-users are under 18. I don't really think it's the cool place for kids to be now. Where are they now? TikTok? TikTok's the place where they're all mucking around. Which used to suggest that many of the issues raised by the Senate committee were less relevant to X than for her fellow CEOs giving testimony. X doesn't have much by way of age verification, Model says. So it would be very easy for a younger user to lie about their age in order to use the platform. A Pew Research study released in December 23 found that 20% of 13 to 17 year olds in the US say they ever use Twitter. The site could be hosting plenty of teens who are simply undercover and not captured in the metrics cited by Jacarino. Well, I don't think so. I think they're probably not on the platform. However many teens there are on X, in 2024, Model and Skaters say they and the site's other users are less properly protected than they should be. Ah, what from? Not from porn. That's been taken off now, isn't it? Mottel says that Jacarino, steward of a platform with some 300 to 500 million users worldwide, appears to be more interested in spectacle over substance. 100 moderators is nothing, he says. It's trust and safety theater. I don't know. I don't know exactly what these moderators, uh, what kind of technologies they're leveraging. I think X has been doing a lot with AI grok system. I don't know if that's helping with moderating in any way in, in passing this information. I imagine she's got a very busy job trying to fend off a lot of this negativity flooding towards X. I mean, Elon has been pretty clear about how he wants X to be more of a centralist platform. So all this talk that um, Victoria Elliott goes on about keeping people safe and hate speech and whatnot. Are you not aware that there was wholesale child pornography and other raw hardcore pornography just circulating around Twitter with all this thousands of moderators before? Nobody was doing anything about it. Apparently people were safe then, were they, love? No, I don't think they were. I don't think they were safe at all. So yeah, it's, it's absolute nonsense. And this apparent hate speech, what kind of hate speech are we talking about? You've got to be more clear about that. Because one person's hate speech is another person just expressing their feelings. Anyway, I don't know if I should like this lady or not. I think Twitter's doing better than it was. So she's obviously a steward of something that's better than, than it was before. And, you know, Elon hired her. And I like Elon. I think he's, 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 he's got a lot on his shoulders. So, yeah, well, we'll see. Although I would like to beseech you, my love. Could you please unblock my account, Linda Jacarino? <laughs> Let's do a, a, a call out here. Um... Anybody watching, go to Twitter and say at support, hashtag unblock the pig. There we go. And uh, Linda Jacarino there and say, he's quite a nice pig, really. Um, <laughs> unblock him, please. He doesn't need all this throttling. He's a good boy, really. Pigwig, out. <laughs>